In today's video, can we continue the dangerous dance with the Del Mate here in the north? How long is it going to take before they attack us? Well, stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our RDAI campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum version 0.6.4. Now, last time we did a very nice job on Issa, and we also took out the day city eight so we're in a relatively okay situation i'm not gonna say good just yet but an okay situation overall now in terms of our plan going forward of course the del mate do need to be taken out but it's a case of when i'm hoping we can get our army back get them retrained fill up the army with a few more troops um and then um Go after Issa and Faros as well. Now, we need to be ready with money for when we do that. Because when we do that, we're going to enslave all of these cities. And hopefully that's going to grow some of our other cities. You may notice a little bit of difference in income slightly down. That is because I have gone around everywhere and put the tax rate to the highest it can be. While still trying to grow the population. So, for example, here in Horizon... We have it zero, so I have put it down. It was on normal. It could, in fact, be on very high. But I want to keep the population going upwards because, of course, Ryzon is our only place to recruit. And, of course, the further north we go, the harder and harder it's going to be to, um, to retrain. So I am going to maybe look at training a couple more ships, actually. Um, while we have some money to do so, I think they're 300, yeah. So we're going to get one in there and one in there. And I think three ships should be enough to... Okay, maybe not a enough. <laughs> but it should be enough against most of the Illyrians. Maybe not Issa. So um, it's just a little bit of extra protection. But I think we are at the end turn now, guys. So let's end the turn. Let's see what happens. Let's watch the Del Mate attackers, shall we? <laughs> We were hoping that the uh, Issa was going to take Pluraeopolis over here. But unfortunately, the AI has been clever for once and uh, <laughs> and brought their army down to defeat them. So, uh, well done, AI. You did a good job for once. <laughs> Let's get our army in here. It is extremely damaged, as you can see. I think most of our money, in fact, is going to go... Uh, against this of course we are taking these two units so these are the two we want to retrain for the armor upgrades etc so let's get it in there and i have moved my spy in the north and as you can see the del mate do have two pretty large armies so i think the main thing is to focus on issa for now we probably will go and take nerona while we can though as well um, where else can we recruit anything? Can we recruit anything at all? I mean, we were recruiting Isaiah Hoplites over here, right? So, no, Prodromoy instead. Maybe worth... I think I did destroy this uh, practice range, but um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame because that would be nice to have right now. I'm thinking potentially Nestos would be a good one because it is, of course, Illyrian. So then we can train, if we get this... We can train some of these Southern Illyrian Levy, which are really cheap, have 120 men, will be good garrisons for a lot of our places. So we'll probably look and do that next time. We are uh, a regional power now, guys, apparently. I don't feel too powerful. And I've got to say, I have really, really, really um, been enjoying... Rise on, we got some more Southern Illyrian skirmishes. Oh no, they got retrained. Um, I have really been enjoying this Illyrian campaign so far. The Illyrian world feels so diverse and actually pretty stressful. There's a, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of factions and they all want to kill you. So um, yeah, it's been pretty fun so far, I've got to say. Now, let's have a look at what we want to... Okay, we are building that in Epidauros. What is that going to allow us to, to train? Nothing. Uh, probably the hoplites. I would like a uh, a practice range here too, and then we can train Acontisti in there. So yeah, that would be good. Can't build anything of worth there. We could build roads here. That's going to allow us to come through this region a bit quicker. But at the moment, we're all right in terms of movement. 
Let's have a look down here. Is there anything worth building? No, we're actually building in, in most places. Um, and everywhere else is not really worth anything. The only thing that would be worth anything is probably roads. Enderon, definitely not worth the roads for now. I mean, we could build in Narensopolis. We could build one of the shrines like Dionysus. That is going to bring us more money. So for now, we are going to pop that in. Luckily, we didn't have much to build that turn because we spent all of our money on retraining anyway. And I'm going to keep my spy up here. Have a look at what's going on. See whether... I think the Iapodes, that's going to be their last settlement. The Laburni look like they're consolidating, you know, pretty well. Okay, they haven't taken out Histria yet, which is a bit of a shame for them. Uh, because Histria is a very easy to take out. Should be one of should be the first thing the Laburni go for after the Iapodes. Hopefully the Laburni and the Delmate go to war. That would really help us out. But anyway, I have waffled on too long again. Let's uh, let's end the turn there, guys. And unfortunately, uh, <laughs> Nerona has been sieged down by the Illyrians. Maybe they'll break that off. But I very, very much doubt it. Anyone of interest here, Illyrian Kingdom and the GCS. Issa broken their alliance with Syracuse. That's actually good for us. Issa and the GCS. Issa has taken Faro, Faros now. That's very, very good for us, I've got to say. That is actually fantastic for us. Mm, we could get some hoplites now as well, too. Good. Good, good, good. Let's uh, let's get them moving, though. We're going to jump on the ships. Let's combine... Oh, what was that? Combine these ships together. So we're actually a little bit more protected. And I would like to go for Faro first, because it has no walls. But whether we can reach there or not without getting stopped by a ship, I don't know. Okay, well, can we get there without being stopped? We can. Let's go here. There we go. Now, do we have a safe haven to go to? We do. Okay. Okay, we're in a decent spot there, then. We might get blockaded there, which will be a little bit annoying. Could also bring this slave slinger across to garrison Faro afterwards. Although, oh, I do need this ship again, don't I? That was a bit of a mistake. Could probably take Issa out on next turn if we play this right. If we play this right, we could do a very good job on Issa, but I think I've already screwed it up. That's a little bit unfortunate, but oh well. Uh, what does this army lack in terms of people? We've got a lot of spearmen. We need some more axemen, and we need more garrison troops is pretty much... The two things that we need. So let's go for some Axemen there. Let's also go for some Hoplites here. Over here, let's get some more Prodromoi. Prodromoi can also garrison as well because they're very cheap to garrison. Hopefully when we get this, we'll be able to get Akontistai, which will be amazing because they're going to be our garrisons, predominant garrisons around here. Anything we want to build... Of interest, Epidauros, anything in here. Let's just build that up so we can get some more population growth because we're not growing very much right now. But let's get on with the war with Issa and let's go straight into the battle. They have some Zistaphoroi and Thurioforoi, two scary ish units, more Thurioforoi and more Isaian Hoplites. The Isaian Hoplites, like we've seen, not very good units. Um, but the Zistaphoroi should be actually quite good, especially against our generals but um yeah let's get in let's hopefully we can uh just swamp the city before this secondary army even comes near us let's go we will feast and drink. yes Tonight, we will tell each other tales of our bravery but before that we must beat our foes and show them why we are the heirs of alexander and Achilles. Well, I didn't realize we'd have the Greek speeches, but uh, anyway. Well, I'm actually going to send off a detachment to deal with that secondary army because they do have quite a bit of infantry, like we've seen. Um, depending on where they come in, we might just be able to block them off there. Or we can also just go into the city if we need to. So those are the two options for us. We'll probably make our way through this way and send some that way and some to block them off. But uh, let's get the battle started. Well, he's left his Zistaphoroi slightly exposed here. So we are going to go straight for them. The main enemy, of course, is going to be 
the Thurio 4 are you here? I really don't want to fight them on the town square. So, yeah, we're going to be slightly wary of that. But if they, you know, turn and go the other way, we're going to be in a very decent position. Oh, here come the Thurio 4 or 2. Let's uh, send one of the guys this way. And let's see what we can do. Hopefully, we can take out the Zista 4 or before things get a too larry. Um, what I'm thinking is... Let's send our Axemen into here to join the fight. Let's send these guys across here to block them off if they want to come. Uh, we'll send the Noble Spearmen as back up too. And I'll also bring across... Okay, you're going the wrong way, my friend. The wrong way, but that's okay. So how are we doing in this fight over here? Fighting Greek archers now and everything. You guys need to come and get into the action. I'm wondering if we can maybe push through them and come this way. But there's Akontistai. Okay. We are struggling. But let's uh, let's take the town square. Let's stop them getting back to the town square. That's going to be the main thing here. Where's that other Axeman? Okay. Get going. Get going, my friend. Get going. Okay. They're coming now. They're coming. We've got our Spearman here. So they should be able to deal with the Zista Foroi. Unfortunately, these guys are going to take a little bit of the fighting too. Okay, that's the enemy general died. Just I thought that was my general then for a second. I was going to be a little bit upset. <laughs> general, um, no, general. Let's go around this way and charge them in the back. I do like, like, these battles do feel so chaotic. It's quite, it's quite fun. There goes the Thurio Foroi attacking us. So let's get in here. We've got our Axemen now here too. So they're not going to be able to do anything, really. They're not going to be able to come back at all. We can go and fight those Akontistai. Um, what is going on over here? This is just chaos. Okay. Okay. Spearmen, Spearmen, Spearmen. Let's get in. Let's get around and flank them. Main thing is just stopping them getting to the town square here. Well, I don't think we can beat the Thurio for a one-on-one -on -one and all that sort of thing. But we can surround them pretty nicely. Oh, you've not moved. Let's bring you. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Doing well. Kill the Akontistai. How are we doing here? Right. Okay. We're nearly in a position to flank them with our armor-piercing units. That's going to be insane when we can do that. So keep coming. Oh, keep coming down, boys. Keep coming down. And let's see if we can flank these boys. That'd be amazing. Okay. This is going to be like a tougher battle than really was expected, to be honest. But not awful nonetheless. Not awful nonetheless. Might have to send my general this way to deal with these guys. I want you guys to get there. Guys, come on. What are you doing? Get around the corner, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. Now, these guys... I hate it when they... Oh, no. Look at the pathing, bro. Come on. Path properly, for God's sake. <laughs> They're just flattening against the building. Now our axemen are armor-piercing, so they should actually beat them quite easily. Now we're going to get these guys to kill them. I mean, we could really just win this, like, just through uh, go like making the clock go down. But I'm really not too bothered about that. I am going to bring my general all the way this way. Um, I'd rather kill both of these armies. I don't want to have to deal with this army again. So I'd rather not just run the clock down. I'd rather win this outright, you know. Let's get uh, these guys in there. Maybe... Okay, no, they're, they're just me too messy. Too messy. You guys, like, if you get there, will you actually path properly? Path properly, please. <laughs> well, I think we're in a good position, guys. Let's see how we uh, grind against this other unit over here. Here we go. We've positioned our javelins right behind them. We're going to fire at the Asian hoplites who have no, like, literally no armor. So this is going to be fun. And then we're going to get our generals around to fire, to charge into the enemy. Although they have good stamina, they are a little bit tired. Oh, that is some pretty good javelin throwing, I've got to say. The Asian's getting absolutely hammered. Go on, boys. That's it. The Thurio Foroi are the main one that we want to worry about, though, to be fair. Not bother about anyone else. Right then, let's make sure that we are blocking off this road here so they can't get through to the town square. Gonna bring... Okay, no. 
Let's kill everyone. Let's kill everyone. A glorious victory then, my friends. A glorious victory. Well, look at that, guys. That was actually a fantastic victory. We did lose about, you know, 150 men. But we killed 600. Absolutely glorious. Very nice to see. I am loving these RDAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAIAI
Let's go for the market there. That's going to be good. Uh, and then let's prioritize large towns afterwards, like Eption Salona. Let's go for the communal farming here too. A bit of extra population growth. And then we can just build whatever, whatever needs to be built. We are recruiting still in those regions, so we don't need to save any money for that. I'm thinking we go for the Temple of Dionysus then at Enderon. And then potentially another temple somewhere else. Dionysus somewhere else. Good. Glorious. Well, um, let's end the turn again, guys. Hopefully we can get this Dalmatian conquest squared off. And then I'm wondering, we'll have a look at the diplomacy over here. See where the Liberni are at war with the Delmate. And if they are, we can strike the richer Delmate lands. I mean, it, richer is a bit of a... Like, it's an... They do have gold and silver mines in Dal Dalmatia, though. That's going to be pretty good if we can get hold of that settlement. So, yeah, let's end the turn, guys, and let's see what happens again. Oh, so we do have a decision to make, guys. Um, as you can see, Issa did drop an army off on Pharos. Was slightly worried about that, but I didn't think that they would do it. But fair play to the AI. So we could cease fire here and not lose Pharos. Or we could continue the war and lose Pharos. I think it's fine to lose it. I mean, there's not really much there. Probably lost a little bit of money putting the walls in. But apart from that, don't think I'm it's going to be mixed. too bad. Let's watch them. They are going to attack. Oh, no, they didn't attack Pharos. Are you joking me? Well done, AI. Okay, cool. So it looks like we have the Thurio Foroy Cavalry reform. Hear me, King Yu, who is blessed by the sun and the snake and the sea. Lend your ear to a simple man, but a man of honor. For Illyrios is my witness that I fought bravely in many bloody battles against the greedy Celts and the arrogant Greeks, and that I saved your nephew during the Battle of the Green Cliffs. Though no one can match the extraordinary courage of the Illyrians, we should be open to improving the equipment of our warriors. In many campaigns fought for you, my lord, and in my service as a mercenary for the Powered Molossians and the mighty Macedonians, I have seen both Helenas and Galatians using the big Thurios shield while riding their horses. Just imagine the terror we will strike into the hearts of our enemies if our men can discharge their javelins from behind these large shields. Listen to me and give our horsemen those shields so they can lead you to victory. Okay, cool. So we now have Thurio Foroy Cavalry, which um, I believe, yes, Illyrian Thurio Foroy Cavalry. Not amazing cavalry, because it is missile cavalry, but it is a better light cavalry than what we had available before, so I can't really complain. I also want to check, for the Epilectoi, we need to control 15 cities, right? And we need third tier barracks for the Noble Spearmen, so we need to get up to Minor City at least oh that's gonna be that's gonna be so tough look at the population growth here it is an absolutely abysmal it is not good it is really not good so we are going to continue to rely on enslaving the populations uh, that is really the only thing we can do at this point so we have Korkira Melania over here I can't believe Issa didn't attack here what what are they thinking oh no we do have walls at Pharos now I just couldn't see them Okay, so we managed to get walls, so at least that's one good thing, right? <laughs> Let's build um, some roads in here. That's going to help us out moving around this region. Thinking also Dionysus in there. And uh, we do have a few more troops now. So we've got those two Prodromoi over there. We've got some extra Axemen, some extra Hoplites too. And we will have a uh, Acontistai next turn. We will need another Acontistai, though. That's that's the thing. Um, so, yeah. Let's... Can we get anything that's nice and cheap? Like the like the slave slingers or something? Let's cancel that. And let's go for the slave javelinmen. They can garrison Issa or something like that. And anything else that we can build that's of any worth around this region? Maybe Pharos... Yeah, probably the communal farming. Let's see what trade is going on here. 181. I mean, it's not it's not good. <laughs> but at the same time, guys, it's not awful either. So I can't really complain. But anyway, let's get into this battle, guys. Um, we could also auto-resolve this. 
but I think the result is going to be awful if we do that. I'm thinking we can just basically use just our generals again for this battle. So that's what we're going to try and do. Potentially bring in a couple of the spearmen too, uh, and that will be about it. But it should be a nice and easy victory, so let's go. Probably going to edit this one down quite a bit. Well, we've opened the gate, guys, and the Yuzona are right in the way. So we're going to chuck some javelins at them first, and then we're going to get the horde to come into the city and try and push them back at least before then bringing our generals in through one of these gates and flanking these guys. Let's uh, let's see if we can do that. That would be good. Come on, guys. Get going. Get going. What I'm going to do is pop one of these units there, if possible. The rest of you guys need to uh, need to come in and engage them. And then we're going to charge them in the back. Nice and easy. Should hopefully be able to break them quite, quite easily here. I'm going to try and set up the cavalry properly too. Because that always seems to do a lot better for them charging. So let's go. Let's rally the men with Pluratos. The glorious leader that is Pluratos. Oh, look at that. That's what you call a charge, my men. That is what you call a charge. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Let's uh, kill all of those men. Let's also bring the cavalry round this way. And uh, going to bring these guys down here. Axemen in behind. Going to bring you guys... Oh, apparently you're going to go that way. That's fine. I, I don't mind that, actually. Go that way. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's okay. Cavalry's going that way, too. Going to bring the axemen around this way, too. And let's see if we can um, engage them. Looks like they're already warming up to get engaged. So it's going to be tough fighting the general's bodyguard. But if we can get our cavalry around fast enough, I think we're going to be okay. So let's go. Well, we didn't even need to get the cavalry around, guys. They, uh, their general died and they all routed. So, uh, <laughs> glorious little victory. We lost 24 men. Very nice indeed. And again, I think we're going to do the same thing. We're going to enslave. We'll need to repair that wall ASAP. Where are the ships, though, as well? We could bring across. Although I would like to bring these slingers across to garrison here. Hmm. Well, for now, let's leave those noble spearmen. There's only 36 of them. Let's have a look at what their upkeep is currently. It's 251, which is really cheap. So they're a very good garrison troop. I know they're good on the battlefield, but there's only 36 of them, guys. So it doesn't really matter too much. Let's go straight across now to Issa. Like I say, now we do have walls at Pharos. It really doesn't matter what this army does. So, yeah, let's go straight for Issa. And see if we can um, see if we can take Issa, and then Issa will be destroyed, which will be absolutely glorious. Then we've got decisions to make. In terms of the long-term plan, obviously we want to take all of the north, all of the north. But I do really want to take this area because if we right-click and have a look, you can see base farming level high, very high, very high, high, high. I may even recruit a spy actually. Let's see. Do we have a spy available anywhere that we can recruit? It'd be nice if we could get a spy somewhere. <laughs> now, I think they cost 700, right? I think they cost 700. So, apparently, no spies available. No spies available for us. We've, we've recruited the maximum amount we can. Where is our spy? Well, our spy is quite important to us right now. I was thinking, like, you know, if the Del Mate and the Laburni want to fight it out and they don't want to fight us, if we, if we just jump on this really rich land up here, that might be the option. That might be a cheeky little option. But then again, we're going to be miles away from coming home at that point, And we might go to war with the Boyai if we do that. But anyway, let's, uh, that's all for later. So uh, let's end the turn here, guys. And another candidate for adoption. So let's accept them. They can definitely be of great use to us over here. Garrisoning, maybe thinking Faros is making 1,000. We'll see how much Issa makes. First of all, though, I think we're just going to auto-resolve this. I don't think we need to worry. 72 men, absolutely fine. Let's um, enslave Issa as well. And that is Issa deaded. I do want to kill that army, though, because that's going to create a lot of devastation on the island of Faros. So, yeah, we really do want to um, 
destroy them. I'm wondering, yeah, this guy, how much movement do you have? Not a huge amount. Hmm. Well, it'd be nice to get you on to Issa ASAP, probably next turn. So for this turn, we, we can wait. I am looking at the Del Mate, though, and I'm slightly worried by how many troops that they are pumping out. They pretty much have another, you know, half full stack here. And where have their armies gone? That's a little bit scary. I've no idea where those armies are. Let's just diplomatically anything happen there. Okay, diplomatic information. The Labeateans have attacked us. Okay. Well, we're going to have to pivot south. But let's just check the diplomatic situation here in the north. Like I said, I didn't really want to come south. Because then it just puts us in a world of hurt if we get attacked by the Illyrians. By Macedon, potentially. We are still allied to the Illyrian Kingdom. So, that's good. I am going to go and talk to Macedon while we can. Let's see. Trade rights. Accept that. Proposal. They don't want an alliance, though, unfortunately. Oh, well. See if we can sell the map information. They're quite far away, so it doesn't matter for now. Okay, 1,400. That is a pretty decent result there. Sorry about that, guys. Was just getting scared by my own sound of the headphones moving on my head. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Sometimes, you know, sometimes. Let's also talk to the Pionians while we've got a chance. Proposal. Okay, no, we're at the point now when no one wants an alliance with us. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's not good. Like, the Lobeotains are our only enemy, though, now. A most generous so, proposal. yeah, 1,000 gold for that. So, we've got an extra bit of cash. From these guys, which is very nice indeed. Um, yeah, well, let's not wait around then any longer. Let's get going. I'm going to get you across to here. You're going to swap around. We're going to get you back there. Can you get in? Good. And they're actually happy. They don't have a problem at all. Um, let's see if we can jump on the ships now. There we go. How far can we get? Can get to here. Oh, we can actually get all the way. All the way. Fantastic. You guys jump in there. You guys jump back into there. Fantastic. Well, let's use the, the money we have amassed here to uh, to retrain all of our men. Let's also take a look at Issa and see what we want to do. Like I say, it's unlikely we want this to become a recruitment hub. Okay, we've, we, we do the Temple of Dionysus too, so that's good. Because it's on an island. Like, it, it really doesn't... Like, on an island, it's not something that we want. And in terms of the AOR here, like, what is it? Is Cyan Hoplites? We can get them from these three settlements rather than on the island. So I think it is better to take the money that we can gain here from this um, and then decide what we want to do with it. The same thing over here, because this, again, is an island. Like I said, I did want to destroy that rebel army. I should have done that. I completely forgot. Should have jumped across here and killed them. Oh, well, we've also got these two Prodromoi that we need to add to our army. So, forgot to add them as well. So, a little bit of a mess, to be honest. But it's okay. We're going to upgrade you. Let's keep on going then with some more Hoplites. Let's also... We've got the, the, those guys in there, the Slave Javelin Mint. That's fantastic. Well, let's um, let's see what we want to do in terms of building then. Epidauros down here. What could we get? I mean, we could get Thuriophoroi, and they're a lot better than the Greek Hoplites. Are they a lot better? Hmm. No, it's just I was just thinking of the Assyrian Hoplites. Actually, the Hoplites are probably better with that 36 defense. So, anything of interest in terms of military? I don't think there's that much, apart from getting Akontistai to garrison settlement. So, that's why we'll build that in there. Perfect. Enderon, again, nothing too interesting. You aren't bordering the Labeateans, so they shouldn't want to take you out straight away. Hmm. Not much to build, really. Like, the problem is we have quite a big empire right now. Well, big kingdom. But do we, like, we just don't have much. Like, the cities we have are awful. Like, 700. Our Duba is actually one of our richest cities, if not our richest. Rhizon's doing okay. But, yeah, the settlements we have are so small and awful. Like, 
Hopefully, these ones can grow. And that should hopefully allow spreading the growth to other settlements in the long run if we want to by uh, recruiting and uh, skimming off the top. But yeah. Hmm. Like, we're not in a great position, are we? Let's uh, pop the, the roads in there for now. We're making 8,000 a turn, which is fine, but... Lebeateans, that was a bit of a dumb decision. I don't think you're gonna, uh, you're gonna... <laughs> you're gonna be too happy about that when it comes down to it. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. Let's see what happens with the Lebeateans. Let's see whether they attack for once. We're looking at the Lebeateans themselves. They've got a couple of armies. This one is incredibly damaged, though, so... I'm really not very scared by it, let's be honest. <laughs> Also, auto saw all these boys. There we go. Oh, no. Wrong one. We don't want to take Plato. So, we're going to pop here. Going to attack them. Then, we're going to attack them. And that's going to pull in this army. Hopefully, we can destroy them. Then, do a draw out battle against Gentios, the Labeatean. Great name, by the way. Um, attuned governor for Epi. Apeia. Yes. Area. Area. To Damos, yes. Ariato Damos, good. He's now becoming a good governor, even though he is governing an absolute shit heap of a shit heap of a place. Um, let's pop that down so it keeps growing. Like I say, we really need to grow our cities. This is our this is our biggest limiting factor right now, and it's not like we're strong enough to just go and go like, ah, we'll have some cities off Rome, shall we? Or We'll go into Macedon right now. We, we are still in survival mode, especially against the Delmate. Have a look at that. They look like they're ready to attack us. So this war against uh, against these guys is going to be... has to be quick. That's the main thing. Let's pop you on there. See, how far can you walk now? You can actually get to there. You're going to help us out. Light cavalry, always quite good. I'm going to pop you back there. Gonna jump you onto the ships. Gonna drop you off in Issa to become the Isaian governor. We've got the noble spearmen there. We've got the uh, the slingers there. So let's swap you out for the noble spearmen if we've got the movement points. There we go, and we'll bring the noble spearmen back home, ready to be retrained whenever they can be. That's unfortunately as far as we can go. So we're gonna pop you in there for now. Um, because I don't think it's going to be too long before we can train them. We just need to upgrade Ryzen, like I say, and it's minus 2% growth. <laughs> so if we get these sewers, that's half a percent, so it's minus one and a half. And if we get that, that's minus half. So we're still on minus 1%. So we're going to have to really rely on enslaving these areas. That's the only thing we can do right now to grow the city. Um, is there anything else that we could build that could grow? I mean, I don't think these offer any growth. Oh, the tavern does. That's still minus half a percent. That's not good, my friends. That's really not good. In terms of what we want to get, let's go... What do we have in our army? Hmm, we've got quite a nicely balanced army now. So let's keep going with... Oh, we're already getting a hoplite there. So let's keep going with some more slingers, I think, for garrisons. Up here in the north, let's go for some more Akontistai there and some more Prodromoi here. So that can reinforce both of our, army, uh, our armies when we come back up north. Anything of interest anywhere to build? I mean, it's not really much in a lot of places... I think we can maybe invest a little bit more in some military infrastructure. So, thinking maybe Butho, I know we destroyed the buildings there, but it's got a little bit better fertility. No, it doesn't. Yeah, low low farming. Hmm. Well, I would prefer to start building up one of these regions. Anywhere that's not got low farming. I mean, we could go Arduba. It is still building already, though. That would be a good option for us. But I think for now, let's let's just build in Butho so we've got an extra place. I know we destroyed the buildings earlier on, but we did need that money. But anyway, let's get into this battle. Oh my god, look how damaged their troops are. They do have some noble spearmen too. But yeah, this is this is gonna be a field day, my friends. Let's get into the battle. 
Oh, well, this first army is pretty much pointless, so we are just going to charge straight into it. I didn't even really see it to start with, so, um... Yeah, they've probably got some units hiding, don't they? I think they've got one other unit, but I can't remember. But yeah, we are just going to charge... Oh my god, the poor Levy. The poor Southern Illyrian Levy. Absolutely ruined. Where is their other unit? Okay, there we are. The Noble Cavalry. Let's go straight into them. Come on, come on, Cav. Let's go. Let's go into the Noble Cavalry. We've got all our units coming now, though, which is a bit annoying, but they're, they're all going to get stuck on this. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Come on, they should be dead now. Good, good. Right, there we go. Now we can actually set up our lines ready for this secondary army. Oh, it just looks so good, doesn't it, guys? I just love it. I love these Illyrian battlefields and these Illyrian troops. They are just so fun to play with and so fun to use. Uh, at the moment. I'm really, really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Here we go. Moving forward now, guys. Moving forward. I'm hoping we can catch these uh, skirmishers while we move forward. We're going to bring our cavalry forward too. Got a light cavalry on the right-hand side. Um, and then uh, we are going... Uh, we didn't manage to catch them, but uh, we are just going to keep moving forward, guys. There's not really much we can do. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're just going to absolutely engage these guys. Kill them all. See what we can do. Hopefully surround them. Keep coming, 304 Roy. Going to get the uh, Axemen around the side. You guys get there. What do we have here? Southern Illyrian Cavalry. Absolute trash. Not going to be a problem for us to deal with. Where's our general? Let's get them there. Our, is our general, like, fast moving? No. So I believe yeah they've just got the heavy cavalry pace which is not amazing but it is okay it's it's not terrible this southern Illyrian cavalry is right in the corner of the map now oh that's gonna hurt that's gonna really hurt that is gonna really hurt so we need to get into uh into these guys asap let's go let's go stop them firing missiles you guys go there you guys should now be firing into the enemy there is like so few of them here there we go. Straight in there, guys. Straight in there. Broke them instantly. Nice. Nice. Get them as well. They are right next to the um, the edge of the map. That's one issue we do have. But uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're just tiny. We've probably taken a few more careless losses than we necessarily needed to. But again, it's, it's, not, it's not too much of a worry. We, we've done a pretty good job here. Uh, you guys get after them. And that's it. Everyone is dead, guys. Very nice. Um, well done, Lebeateans, for declaring war on us. That was a clever idea, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I've got to say, I think that must be their... Surely that's their biggest army that they've got on offer at the moment. It doesn't look like they've got much else, so... Um, yeah, well done, Lebeateans. Not really a clever idea, was it? <laughs> declaring war on us, you silly fools. Well, there we go, and now we can see the Lebeatean land. And Genthios is there, and they've also got Demarcos here too. And this is all they have, like... <sighs> oh, the AI does amaze me sometimes. I'm hoping we can do a draw-out battle, but unfortunately not. Oh, no, we weren't able to siege down this turn. We ran out of movement points. Wondering whether that's because... It'll, that will be because of the Progemoy. Oh, that's unfortunate. Was not expecting that. But that's okay. That's okay. We do have a pretty nice army now, though. 15 out of 20. We do have one slave javelin man that we could get rid of, but they're just there for garrisoning. Um, so yeah, we've got a pretty decent army all told at the minute. So uh, yeah, glorious. Anything else we want to build? Like I say, there's really not much. That needs to go down to low then now as well because it's not growing anymore. When the slavery runs out in these places, guys, the slavery modifier, they, uh, they will um, stop the population growth. Because you get a bonus from that when you first take it over. Um, Eption, Salona. We could go... If we're going to make this into a good recruitment hub, we could go for the armor upgrade. Let's go for that. That'll be fine. It's a nice little uh, temple to put in there. Anyone else? Korkira? No. Literally, you've built everything that is worthwhile building in all of these places. <laughs> and it's going to be so long before the upgrade. Come on, please. <laughs> Although this one... Okay, no, let's uh, let's pop you down to low, so that hopefully Narensopolis will grow quicker. I and mean, he's making no money anyway, so 
It really doesn't matter. Same as Hedum over here. Like, some of these places... Like, it's just worth it getting them to grow. We're going to lose a little bit of money in the long run. But... Well, in the short term. But in the long run, we should be better. Because once these are, you know... Uh, large towns, we can actually start upgrading them and giving them actual buildings, guys. <laughs> Glorious. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. And another Greek faction is destroyed in Ellis. Oh dear, the Greeks are not having the greatest of times, are they? Um, where are the Dardanians? Let's go speak to the Dardanians. How about an alliance, my friends? No, we are at the stage now where everything is very demanding. No one likes us. No one likes us. At all. Luckily, the Dardanians are, again, not too close. Would you consider 490? Absolutely not. Time. No way. That's a scam, my friends. That's a scam. Let's go around the Thracians and try and sell them a little bit of a map information and all that sort of thing. Um, right then. Hmm. Wondering if we pop there. If we attack them, we can go here. Get on the bridge and see whether they want to muster some forces against us to fight us on the bridge. I doubt it, but it'd be quite funny. I think we're all right for troops right now, unless we're getting, you know, garrison troops. So I'm going to leave the uh, the hoplites for now. Oh, we had rioting in Issa. Okay, well, let's just go down. Anything get damaged? Nothing got damaged. Good. Good, good, good. Anything of interest here? Bessie... Our allies with Kios. Wow. Great alliance there, Bessie. Well done. That's... Why? <laughs> Just why? <laughs> right, rise on. Now, we're actually on 0% now. I wonder why our... Oh, our popul... Because we were, we were being blockaded. That's why our population growth went down so much. So we definitely need the sewers. How much was that? Okay, we've got a little bit of a bonus to grow... To, um buildings from our guy, which is good. Actually, we were going to build this here, weren't we, in our dubet? Well, let's do that now, because the infrastructure, the military infrastructure takes so long to build, guys. You want to build it earlier rather than later. Like, so I know we're really not going to be recruiting here for a while. I'm going to get another spy, but it will be better to do that now rather than later. Where is our other spy? Yeah, we were looking for those big Del Mate armies. Okay. That's Laberni. Okay, there's one. They've been so damaged, they're down to three men. I don't know. I don't know. Let's have a look at the diplomacy for a second. Let's just see what is going on with them right now. Del Mate. Okay, they're only at war with the Iapodes still, and they are still allied with the Illyrians, so... If we declare war on them, there is a chance the Illyrians will, uh, you know, break the alliance with us, which is not ideal because the Illyrians are quite, like, they've got a lot of troops around. They've got a lot of settlements all around our land. Not really something we want to have to worry about, to be honest. In fact, I was hoping we could sell them Skodra, potentially, just so that we don't border anyone down here because... I don't want the Illyrian Kingdom to attack us for no reason, like, and have to keep yo-yoing between the north and south like that. That's going to be so annoying if we have to do that, so. But anyway, let's end the turn, guys. And it has happened. It has happened. The Del Mate have attacked us. They've also brought their pretty big army this way, too. The Iapodes are asking for something. What do you want, Iapodes? You want an alliance? No, because we are allied with the Laberni, and we can't afford to fight the Laberni and the Del Mate right now. I will, I would consider a trade agreement, but we already have that, so okay. Well, that's kind of, you know, an invitation to finish this war extremely quickly. So, going to pop here, going to auto-resolve that. That's 36, so that's not even bad. Um, hopefully, that is going to increase the population growth at Ryzon now as well. Again, we're getting blockaded. Oh, great. Thank you. So let's leave behind the javelin men here. Let's attack you. And I'm thinking what we do is we do a classic blitz technique. I would like to know what's in the settlement, though. So we're going to send you across. Okay, they have some Illyrian noble cavalry, but the rest is pretty trash. I'm going to send Pluratos up to Metion in the north. 
Okay, we've got to be careful about this because I didn't check. Okay, they do have a, the right amount of movement points. Gonna go for... So what do you, these guys have up the north? Oh, they actually have infantry. So we should send a stronger infantry contingent this way. There we go. That should be fine. They may even sally out against that. Maybe. Unlikely. And then we're going to get these guys to siege this down. So it's only going to take one more turn to do this. That's going to be fine. But we need to do that. Because the Del Mate, of course, are coming down on us quite quickly. And they have a lot of troops in this region. We did just get a spy, did we not? Fantastic. Well, let's keep coming over this way. Let's see how far they've got in the north now, the Delmatic. Okay, this is the, the furthest north they have got. That is good for us. So that means, where's our other spy? I'm going to send you around to Patavium, actually. Because I would like to see what's going on over there. See whether it's worth a cheeky little expedition at some point. Um, and you can also see how our economy gets crippled once our capital gets blockaded. It's um, really not ideal, is it, my friends? Really not ideal. Now that it's blockaded, we're down 3,000 a turn, which is pretty awful. Let's also get some more slave javelinmen because, again, we need two garrisons for these places. We've got a garrison here. We need two for these places. Let's also repair that if we have the money. Fantastic. Hmm, missile range. I think we'll keep that in for now. Like I say, we need to build up our military infrastructure, so I might not destroy many more military buildings from now on. Especially at Skodra, which will have a decent military offering. Um, but I think that is everything. Well, guys, I think that sets us up perfectly for the next episode. Can we beat back the Del Mate? Can we finish off the Lebeotians quickly? I think we can finish off the Lebeotians quickly, but how quick we can react to the Del Mate is going to be a rather different question. And whether fighting them is going to bring us to war with the uh, Liberni 2 is another very, very interesting question. But if you do enjoy this video, guys, a like and a subscribe would be massively appreciated. It really does help the channel out. And of course, once again, big thank you to David, our channel member. If you want to join the channel membership program, guys, you can go down into the, the description down below for some awesome perks. But anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you all again on the next video.